and time is ours. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your sir, Brian, if you don't know, now you know. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this cute little makeup look, then keep on watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to die in these Cuban links. Oh, it's recording. Hey, y'all. Oh, no. Plus the different song. Pause, 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 pause. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. So, y'all already saw the intro today. We doing makeup. I did want to tie my hair up, but she looks too damn good to be tied up. You feel me? Today's video, we're going to do some type of makeup. I don't know what I'm going to decide to do. But depending on this little outfit I got on right now, I think I'm gonna go in with some browns and whatnot. So I'm excited because I ain't really beat my face in a minute and this will be an actual tutorial. So I'll be showing all the products, telling y'all where I got it from. I'm gonna add the price in there if I can. If not, girl, I'm sorry. Um, but everything will also be in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started, okay? So usually I start out with my brows. And usually I use NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso, which is like $10. But I ran out today, you know, quarantine, coronavirus, my ass ain't been outside in like 12 days. So I got a result to this boy, which is also still by NYX. It's the um, eyebrow pencil in black. That's literally what it is. And it's thick. Which is the reason why I don't like her. Not to come at NYX. But you know I'd rather use the micro pencil. Because she's just better in my opinion. You know. But you know we gotta do what we gotta do. Hold on let me turn this down some. So for starters. I'm gonna be doing my face makeup first actually. Y'all probably like what? But girl yeah I'm gonna do my face makeup first. Simply because. That little trick I did. Just for a video of the little makeup hack John. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it up here somewhere or I will put it in the description box below. But that video, literally my makeup was bomb. It lasted throughout the entire day. So I'm in love with knowing that. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, we're gonna switch it up. I'm also doing eyeshadow. So the fact that I'm doing my makeup, my, my face makeup first, that's crazy. Like that's beyond me. That's really out of my comfort zone, you know. But we got this. We got this. So I'll be starting with Fenty's the hydration um primer. My skin is already uh what's to call it? It's already moisturized. I use Pond's moisturizer. And I also use um, bio oil. That's what I've been using recently in my skincare routine. And I realized the last time I did this little makeup hack or whatever, I did everything, all the steps back to back to back to back. You're not supposed to do that. I ain't give myself enough time for it to dry down. So uh, that's why I went ahead and moisturized off camera. So it could be nice and dry by the time I was ready to put everything else on. So following my um Fenty, and I think this was probably like, don't quote me, but I'm going to say like $28, 24 I don't know. Don't quote me like I said. But after that, I'm going to go in with Airspun Setting Powder in uh, Honey Beige, and I'm going to dust this all over my face by using the... Morphe 91 brush. This is my second time buying this brush because I lost the first one. I don't know where Shawty went. I think somebody stole it. But you know, black people always say that when they can't find their stuff. <laughs> you know, but for oh, I think I put way too much. I put way too much. Let's dust her away. Um, I don't know where my brush went. Like, honestly. Like what? What you gonna tell me? My brush grew legs and walked away because it was with all my other brushes. Um, then out of nowhere, it ain't nowhere to be found. Like, nah, that's weird. That's weird to me, sis. That sounds a little suspect, sis. So, anyways, had about another one, and 
I honestly will buy it over and over again because this brush is just so versatile. Like, I love it. Lately, I've been using it to do my contour and put on, like, powder and brush all powder and whatnot. Like, this is just my all around like, powder brush. Um, and, like, I like how if you, if you, like, press it against something, it kind of gets stuck in that position. And that's what I do to really get to my contour. And, like, it creates a fluffy contour because it's kind of like pointed but it's still such a fluffy ass brush so let me stop cursing i'm sorry that was my 2020 resolution but 2020 been all over the place you know so i could curse a little bit anyways once i set my primer which sounds so weird coming out of my mouth because i'm not used to doing that i go in with the all nighter urban decay long lasting setting spray and I just spritz my face a couple of times. Who ain't put me on to Fenty spray? Because I saw somebody using it the other day and they was like, oh, in terms of how the spray comes out, it's very similar to the the um Morphe setting mist. And I was like, hold on, pause, because I never knew Fenty came out with a setting spray already. Like, where, where have I been? Honestly, I must have been under a fucking rock because... I didn't know she even came out with that, but I'm gonna get that next. Simply because I love all of uh, fancy stuff, so I'm gonna get that next. But that's the spray that I used today. But anyways, here are the three foundations I only ever use in my life. Here's, to, am I lying? I think I used a cover girl once before, but that was not my complexion, so that don't even count. But um, anyways. Here are the three that I love and live for. So this is Total, NYX Total uh, Control Foundation in Cappuccino, I believe. This is really good, but honestly, this is my summer color. Like, you probably can't tell on the bottle, but this is my summer color. But it blends so well. So I'm like, hmm. And it's really lightweight, which is why I've been using it lately, because I don't like too much thickness on my face. Uh... NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Macchiato is also my favorite. I don't know why I haven't been using this lately. I think I may use this today just because. And then I also have my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation in the number 385. She's a little thick. And she takes more time to blend out. And honestly, truly, she blends out better with a brush. Which is the only reason why I haven't been using this lately. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go in with this girl today. Switch it up a little bit. She's also, like, my perfect skin complexion. So, when it gets to the summertime, I'm going to have to switch out again. Because, girl, my skin be fluctuating. You know what I mean? <laughs> now that my base is ready, I'm going to just be adding my foundation onto my beauty blender my beauty blender and we just gonna go in we gonna go crazy go home go crazy i'm annoying all right anyways and man with this type of hair color you really gotta make sure that you don't get your foundation on your hair because you will definitely see it like you definitely will see it I just know that everybody who's been doing their makeup really just doing it for they set. I mean, I always do my makeup for myself, but like, really, when you don't have nowhere to go because of quarantine, you're really, really just doing makeup, like, to please yourself, as you should always at all times, but like, dang, we really just putting makeup on for nothing. <laughs> really just to sit in the living room and chick it. I mean, I said chick it and kick it in the living room, like just straight chilling and having nowhere to go that's crazy so now that i'm done with that the only concealers that i love and recommend are tarte shape tape and uh fancy beauty but um fancy beauty is a little bit more coverage in my opinion or maybe it's because i learned to like let the concealer dry down or something i don't know what it is but i just feel like Maybe I like the way it blends with the foundations more. I don't know. I just, this is just my favorite. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because of Rihanna. <laughs> it may be true, you know. Can't really tell you why. I just like what I like. Oh my God, this looks so weird because I don't have my brows on yet. 
my brows thick as thieves, yo. Like, <laughs> like, you bitches could never. You bitches could never. Like, honestly, a little concealer underneath, I'm straight. A little concealer underneath and a little bit of pencil at the top. Mm -mm. I'll be straight, you know. That's crazy, though. I'm going to let this dry now and I'm going to come back when it's all blended out. Alright, so my apologies if it's like my camera keep moving around because I'm trying to film this and a TikTok at the same time. And it's not as easy as it seems, okay? But anyways, once I put that on the places I want highlighted, I go in with the same beauty blender. Um, with a... See, look at me all scrambled with the Airspun setting powder. And I like to dab it inside the powder and then take the excess off on my hands just so I can get an even lighter like application, if that makes sense. I don't want too much powder at all, especially because we already put powder on with our base. We do not need too much powder. And I like to press the powder in, especially under my eyes because we don't want no creasing. Um, I don't bake. So, me pressing the powder into my skin is going to give me, like, a flawless finish, you know, without having to bake. Because I don't like when you put the powder on it and you have to, like, brush it off. It leaves lines on my face. Like, it makes me crease. I don't know. So, I've been doing this lately. I create an outline for my contour by sucking in my cheeks. Period pool. Period pool. I take the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I mix both my contour and my sculpt color together. What I like to do is take the same Morphe brush and I press it against the top so it creates like a flatter side and then a fluffy side. And then I take, I turn it around so it looks like this and I take the fluffy side and I dip it into those two colors. I tap a lot off. I tap a lot off. So I don't want them to be too crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll go in lightly right in the area that I outlined for myself. This has helped me learn how to contour or bronze, whatever you want to call it. If you're like me and you really don't know how to contour the best and you like your stuff to look nice and blended, you don't want nothing to look too harsh, I would suggest getting you a brush like this. Um, or doing something similar to where you're like, you know, giving yourself a guideline. Because I can't console for shit. <laughs> I really can't. And then I also go in with this little brush. This is from Morphe. And I don't got a number or anything because it came in a set. And I go into just the sculpt color because the console color is too harsh for this part. I tap off the excess. Let me get my little mirror. And I go down the bridge of my nose. Notice that all my powder from my satin powder is still on my face, which makes it really easy to like. Basically, I'm literally coloring in the lines, you know. And you want to always bring it up into this area. It just makes your nose look way more slimmer without you trying hard. So I'm really just getting rid of like the harshness when I do this. And if I feel like I need a little bit more powder... I simply go in with more and it helps like blend everything together for real for real so yeah that's what I've been doing for my base and then I'm gonna go in and spray it with the Urban Decay spray one more again and that really just makes everything blend and melt together so I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna finally go into these brows I'm not too crazy about the brow situation you know because I don't like this pencil so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'm gonna come back when they're done but do know that I so yeah this is the product that I'm using this is the same concealer that I'm gonna outline them with and I use this brush it's from Morphe as well um Morphe but it doesn't have a number but it's just an angle brush with a spoolie on the end and that's what I will be using all right so brows done 
period they look great even though i don't like this pencil as much as the micro one it's not a bad pencil um it's not that hard to use either it's very creamy very pigmented you know brows look good but yeah so now we are moving on to i'm gonna say my highlight for last we're gonna move on to eyeshadow so when it comes to eyeshadow i really don't know what the fuck i want to do but i do know that i want to use brown so i'm probably gonna go in with my morphe boss mood 35 in palette this is my favorite palette thanks best friend because she got it for me pretty i also know that i want to add like some jewels so we're gonna see what i can you know whip up in the kitchen but yeah I'm excited. I ain't do no eyeshadow in a brickie. In a brickie, it's been a mini. Also, if you've been seeing my love, <laughs> if you've been seeing my love pin, you know, just disregard her, okay? Cause y'all, y'all, if you watched one of my pretty little thing, you know, thingamajigs, you know what I was going through with this daggone little piece, okay? So if you've been seeing that, match business, boo, match business. Even though I'm doing all browns and probably like a cream or something, I'm still going to start with a brown in my, um, what is this called? My crease as my transition shade, you know what I'm saying? So, honest to God, I'm probably going to mix all these. Actually, for my, for my, um, transition, I'm going to start with these two, you know what I'm saying? They don't have no names, girl, so, you know, just get you a brown shade and... I'm just gonna go ham, okay? We're gonna go crazy in the crease area, and I'm just going to be blending this out up towards my brow bone. I'm gonna go all the way into the inner corner. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna bring it around. We're not gonna bring it down too deep. I mean, too far. We're just gonna keep it right there because I don't like having to go through all the cleanup. And I gotta be careful because I already did my face makeup. So, ain't too much saving it when it comes to the cleanup, you know. So, I've applied that color to both of my lids, and this is what we're looking like. I think I'm going to go ahead and take some concealer and cut out an itty-bitty part of my crease. Like an itty-bitty part. Um, I like the way the concealer... If I had a white liner or a cream eyeliner, that's what I would use. But since I don't, I'm using concealer, okay? So, I don't even know what this is called. I'm trying to scoot up a little bit so y'all can see me. But, basically what I want to do. Let me throw the hair back. Let me throw the hair just back. Breathe. What I want to do is like, and I hope I do this right because I'm all. <laughs> we're going to do this right, okay. I like raise my eyebrow up a little bit. Because I like to make a larger crease than what I actually have. And what you're gonna do is take your brush. I hope y'all can see. And you just carve out where you want your little crease to be. I may put glitter on this later, I don't know. I really don't know what just possessed me to do that, but I think it's cute. I think it's cute. So we're gonna do the other side, okay? Also, if you ain't like this video yet, girl, what is you doing, baby? What is you doing, baby? Yo, I saw a tweet and it was like, oh, People been shutting down and I don't get them scam likely calls no more. I do. I do. And I just did. And they keep calling my phone. And I'm irritated because they keep making my dad on video go in and out. And I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. Okay. But I think I'm about to take this light. I didn't even know it was a brush right there. This light shade. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I'm just going to pat this flat brush. This is also for Morphe. But it's old. She's old, girl. She's old. And I'm just gonna pack that on my lid. I miss doing eyeshadow, period. But I'm about to make it pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I literally just saw. The same brush from earlier. And I'm going to 
go out of my comfort zone. And I'm gonna mix this brown with this black. Oh! I'm gonna mix the brown with the black. I'm gonna tap some of it off and I'm just going to go in here and just smoke this out a little bit because I want my eyes to look a little bit more whiter, if that makes sense. Be sure to keep it on your lid. Don't bring it down because, you know, we already did our face makeup. We can't mess up, sir. I'm really talking to myself about telling y'all what to do and what not to do because I know me. I fucked this shit up in a heartbeat. You know, this is cute if I do say so myself, you know. Okay, so now that we got that, that's all I'm going to do for right now. I'm about to go pop on some lashes off camera and come back. And then I'm going to decide if I want to add some rhinestones or whatever. I definitely think I do, but I'm going to do it after I do my lashes, okay? So, went and put some lashes on. You can barely tell them. Like, these are some not these are probably the most natural lashes I have at the moment. I need to go rack up on some more. But these are the Kiss Naked Drama Collection lashes. CVS is having a sale right now. They was like $4 or $5 or something like that. So, yeah, these little baby ass lashes i need my big blinks you feel me but like they are cute and like i like how they allow you to see this you know this eyeshadow that i did that i just took an hour to do so yeah that's the only reason i like it but now i'm about to slice it up a little bit so i'm about to take some mascara on my bottom lashes this is lancome monsieur big mascara and i'm just going to coat my bottom lashes yeah like the littlest details at difference like they make a big difference on your face so yeah mascara has been added i look like a baby doll already you gotta have self-confidence okay then i like to go and take my um eyeliner this is Clinique's eyeliner this is probably my favorite eyeliner and I didn't even purchase this but I will definitely go buy it it's so easy to use um hmm, I think I'm gonna do three dots sometimes I do one usually but I'm gonna do three I like to do them under my uh under my bottom lash line just because it brings more attraction to my eyes they just look bigger already um now i'm gonna go in with these jewels that i got from amazon i believe and uh it came with a little jeweler picker up thing so i'm gonna use this and i'm also going to go with the duo quick set strip lash adhesive this is lash glue i'm gonna use to pick up the um the jewels and I'm just going to place one in my inner corner for a little razzle dazzle, you feel me? That's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to put it right in my inner corner. And then I'm going to pick up a jewel. <laughs> and put it right there I don't know if y'all can see but here is a close up of how everything is looking okay so now it's time to go on to the lips and I had on chapstick so I gotta take that off because my lip liner do not be one to go on correctly but oh my god this lip liner is so voodoo like I have another one but this one is a little bit darker than this one. I don't know if you can tell. But this one's a little bit darker. So for the lip I'm going for, I want to use... I think this is just brown. No. This is Espresso. This one is deepest brown. So yeah, I'm going to go in with Espresso from LA Girl. This is actually an eyeliner, but I'm using it as a lip liner. Dang, now my lips are dry. And I'm just going to line my lips. And I would never in my life overline my lips like my lips are too big for that but i do like to like go crazy on my cupid's bow so yeah once i have that i go in with mac and kind of sexy that's what she looked like i just wiped her off because she had 
brown lip liner on but i'm just gonna lightly dab this in the center of my lips and once that's done i'm gonna go in with nyx butter gloss and fortune cookie and this is so light so i'm only gonna use a little bit and i literally just bought a brand new clear lip gloss and i lost it already like, I bought it the same day I bought these lashes, which was like three days ago. Ooh, you know what would look really good? If I had some white eyeliner for my bottom lash line, oh my God, that would be so pretty. Okay, so this is my old one that I used, because I can't find my new one, but it still got some gloss in it, but I just used, but I just used the um NK, Clear lip gel. But anyways, that's basically it for the lip combo. I'm gonna spray my face one more again. Just a little bit before I add my highlight. Now here is my old faithful. This used to be my favorite highlighter ever in the world. Like literally until I got Fenty. But I still love it. But like you see it's beat up. It don't even have the top anymore because this is really old. But this is Laura get a little Laura Geller Gilded Honey y'all y'all see how it just go on so smoothly like then I like to take this little brush this is from Juicy Couture it came from a set too thanks best friend and I use that to do my nose highlight and my nose highlight is so important to me y'all y'all don't even understand it makes such like a little different okay you guys so that really wraps up this video i hope y'all enjoyed if you did please be sure to comment down below and tell me what you want to see next also be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you're curious to see how i got my hair to look like this it'll either be up above or down below in the description box if you want to be a blondie and a baddie like me okay it's like nah but yeah if you want to see my makeup tutorials make sure you tell me down below like this video subscribe and turn on your push notifications okay so <laughs> that wraps up this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye mamas